welcome to the Maziki Newscast, keeping Ottawa smiling one show at a time, with your hosts, Rabbi Sher and Dr. Stacy Goldstein. Welcome to Laugh, Love, Life. Thank you, uh, thank you so much, and welcome to Laugh, Love, Light. We're going to go straight to our first segment tonight, ladies and gentlemen, our laugh section, when we do everything we can to make sure that you laugh. We're going to skip my uh, joke for tonight, uh, apologies in advance, and go straight to a local comedian. She created original material for this show. You can check her out in clubs all over Ottawa once our comedy clubs once again open. Linda Toller Walker, she has been a part of the Mahzike Hadas family since she was born. She is a wonderful member of our community. Without further ado, local comedian Linda Toller Walker. Right. So, so I really hope my uh, little comedy routine uh, is a bit better than than my exercise routine, uh, which really hasn't been very great lately, and uh, and that I don't get the laugh track. Uh, that somebody can figure out when to laugh. Um, and I really hope that during my, you know, Zoom call, um, the internet is more stable than the ROI has been on my portfolio. Um, it, it's been really challenging, you know, the past few months being at home, especially uh, with a spouse that wasn't working. Um, you know, Alex really had to find ways to keep busy. And, you know, I, I've had three crowns, two root canals and a few fillings. And, uh, and I'm not even as patient. Um, but thank God, you know, thank God dentists were able to go back to work in a much safer environment than they had been working before. And, you know, if you've been following the news, the Royal College came out with some very, very strict guidelines uh, that I heard about um, ad nauseum. So now they have to wear a mask, one of those special canine masks and a shield so that they can't um, see what they're doing and you can't hear what they're saying. But uh, so when he went back to work, we came up with this little marketing campaign that would at least help him communicate with the patient. And so we came up with this idea to put messages on masks. And this one, I, if you can read it, it says, aren't you glad to see me? Uh, so this way, the patients will feel a lot more comfortable when they get back into the dental chair. Um, you know, everyone's been pivoting to different things. And, and the one thing that pivoted for us was something called senior moments. And most people think about senior moments as moments when you forget. But for us, you know, it, it was the time of day when we got up very early in the morning to get to Loblaws for 7 a.m. so that we didn't have to stand in line. And if we were really lucky wearing our matching masks, we could score a 50% off kosher steak that we could take home and make for date night. Uh, so that's how we really redefined um, our senior moments. Uh, but seriously, you know, I think being at home, we've really refocused a lot on how to make our lives better and more meaningful. And, you know, for me, um, that would really mean doing a lot more good deeds and, you know, really emulating getting the Order of Canada that our revered Rabbi Bolka has done. But, you know, I, I've come to terms with reality. And, and for now, I'm just happy getting my Order of Canada from Tim Hortons. It was amazing. Linda, that was hilarious. Thank you so much. Now we're going to go on to our love segment. Our love segment tonight is all about the end of the school year. Some of you may have been to a drive-in theater before. Well, on Sunday, I went to my first ever drive-in chumash party. At Torah Day School of Ottawa, the grade one graduating class received their first chumash. But it wasn't enough just to receive their chumash. They had a drive-in celebration. Take a look at this very quick clip and a huge mazel tov to Shlomo and Kayla and Elisheva for receiving your first chumash and the entire grade one class of Torah Day School of Ottawa. One, two, three. <laughs> And then on Monday, I had the opportunity to sit in on the Zoom graduation 
of the grade eight graduating class of the OJCS. It was meaningful as each one of the graduates spoke so eloquently. And it was even emotional as some of these students were my bar and bat mitzvah students at Machzike Hadas. I'd like to make a special mention, a special mazel tov to the Machzike OJCS graduates, Talia Cheren, Max Poplov, Zoe Newman, Kira Vered, and all of the other incredible graduates of this very special class. All of them won very amazing awards, but I just want to mention that Talia Charon and Zoe Newman fittingly won the Rabbi Boka Award. We'll now turn it over to our light correspondent, Dr. Stacy Goldstein. Welcome to this week's segment of Light, where we get an inside look at the Shabbat preparations of our featured family. This week's guests are the Sheinbach family, and it looks like they're cooking up something really delicious. Stay tuned for the end for the candle lighting times. Here you go, we're making a cake for Shabbat. Okay. Put it inside. One. Nine. Now your turn. Okay, now it's our turn. Saying good Shabbos. Yeah. This week, funny steps are Shakora, candle lighting time, and after 7 20 p.m. before 8 24. We hope we brought a little more laughter, a little more love, and a little more light into your lives. Over to you, Rabbi Volka. So congratulations, Marziki, as you get into the movie industry. It's great to see. Uh, I'll end with uh, a pun a week. Uh, too many puns at once, you know, it's a pandemic. We don't want that. So congratulations to all of the people who graduated this week and in good pun form, congratulations. Shabbat Shalom and warmest wishes to you all. Last hard in time to de-stress. Thank God for my weekly refresh. Man, I love me some Shabbos Kodesh. Oh, it's time for saying good Shabbos. Yeah. Wish you a Shabbos that is better than you ever, ever had before. No, no, we wish you good Shabbos. Yeah. Friday.